Hello and welcome back to We Met Behind the Castle. Uh, I'm here today at the Yacht Club to tour the resort. I love doing these resort tours and Yacht Club ends up actually being one of my favorites just because of the different dining options. They have two of the best restaurants, I think, on all of Disney World property. So I'm excited to talk to you about those. But we're gonna start this video because I was at Boardwalk and doing Beach Club Resort tours. We're gonna start this down at the Skyliner. So Logan, over to you at the Skyliner. This pathway will head down right into World Showcase, so you'll actually enter back by, in between the UK and France. So if you're staying at either three of those resorts, Yacht Club, Beach Club, or Boardwalk, you can head down this path, scan in your ticket, and head right into World Showcase. Friendship Boats, which will take you to the different resorts, so you can jump on that after your day at the park. Just remember to exit back by the UK in between the UK and France. As you can see, France over here to the right, Skyliner's going above as well. So lots of transportation options here at these three resorts, the Epcot Resort area, I guess you would call it hub. But this is the Disney Skyliner and the Skyliner will take you to different resorts. It'll also take you to Disney's Hollywood Studios through transfer. So if you're staying at one of those three resorts, again, a great option. So from 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., the Skyliner will take you to the different resorts and Disney's Hollywood Studios, and you can jump on those. They're, uh, the line's continuously moving, so it's usually not that long of a wait. I don't think I've ever waited more than like five minutes. Great way to get around the parks. It goes to Disney's Art of Animation, Pop Century, and it also heads to Riviera and Caribbean Beach. So lots of different options to get around to the different resorts. Great way to resort hop. Great way to go from Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot. But yeah, I think the pools are closed because the lifeguards are leaving the pool area because there's thunder. And wherever there's thunder, there's lightning. And then out on the beach, you can actually see Adirondack chairs. Those Adirondack chairs are facing this way to nothing, but typically there's going to be a movie screen right there where the movie Under the Stars is taking place. Here's what is currently going on at Yacht Beach. A lot of the resorts are gonna have similar recreation activities around the pools or like activities around the pools. They're just named different things. Movie Under the Stars. So each of the resorts I think will have a different movie under the stars because Boardwalk, which you can go over to, you don't have to be staying at the resort to enjoy Movie Under the Stars, but you can actually go over to Boardwalk and on Sunday they're doing a mystery movie, but it looks like they don't have a Sunday movie here at Yacht and Beach. So, and this is called Shipwreck Beach. Did not know that's what that was called. But yeah, it looks like tomorrow's movie is a goofy movie. So, and these change every once in a while, but I, I could have swore they used to do monthly ones, but they stopped doing monthly ones. Now they just do a standard one, and then I think they change them out every once in a while. But again, this is where the, the movie screen would be set up. You sit on an Adirondack chair. You can even sit on the sand if you really want. This is the s'mores area. Typically in dry season, they won't do s'mores, but right now it looks like I think they might because it is starting to rain a ton here as you can hear the thunder going above my head. Okay, yeah, so there's a little pool right here. There's a little slide that goes back through here and then the big slide is up here and it goes all the way down into the big pool, which is over here on this side. And this is all called the Storm Along Bay area. So it's got three different types of pool areas in Storm Along and we'll talk about them and I'll probably be able to film because I think they'll probably uh, have kicked everybody out of the pool area. But this pool and the slide is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., which will be the same hours as the pool over here that these water slides dump into. Yeah, Hurricane Hannah's water side bar and thrill. We'll go check out the menu. And right, I'll try to do this at an angle because I don't want to like stand in front of it because there's people back here. What do you get? Some but I got sandwiches, kids meals, snacks, ice cream, some grab and go. These are a lot more options than uh, the moderate quick service restaurant and bar that we're at at Riverside. But kind of a look into the bar area. They've got regular bar over here. The quick service restaurant is right here. You actually get your food. You can also do mobile ordering, I believe. So 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then they've got the refillable mug area and soda area. You can get water and refill water bottles here. 
and those freestyle machine, not freestyle, but the fountain drink area. But yeah, Hurricane Hannah's currently open. It was currently closed last time I was here for refurbishment. And they got nice outdoor seating area. Yeah, it looks like they've cleaned out the pool. They've told everybody to get out of the pool area. So that's interesting. I did not know that. I mean, I was pretty sure because people would get in the pool because the lifeguards will have to leave and people would just get in the pool because they just feel like they could. Um, but yeah, just a couple things about this pool area. Uh, this is salt water and that is sand on the bottom and that is on purpose. So it's like sandier bottoms over towards that, that side. And then once you get towards like the edge and the bridge areas, it actually clears up because the filters down here will take out the sand. <gasps> Look, the duck is swimming. Swim, little ducky, swim. Look at him go. Look at him go. This is a better shot. You can see the little baby ducks. Mama duck over there with the baby ducks swimming in the pool. I'm actually uh, shocked that they're in there because like the people didn't leave that long ago and there's little baby ducklings over there and there's tons of little baby ducklings swimming around in the pool. Pool restrooms and showers. They do have uh, showers at all their pools which is one thing I like about Disney. So if you need to wash off after a long day at the pool, you definitely can. Pool hours, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Tower turn. I don't think I've ever seen a tower turn like that. It's a garbage can. It is pretty. There's so many like different aspects to this pool and it is massive. All right, a couple more things to talk about. This is the gym and spa area. Fitness center rules, 24 hour access when you have a room key. Here's some of the rules. It's called Ship Shape. Love the name. Massage, saloon, and fitness. <laughs> there are so many areas at this pool. This is crazy. It's funny because we just stayed at a moderate resort and that pool was pretty big. But I mean, even for a deluxe resort, this pool is probably the biggest. I'm gonna go with it is the biggest on Walt Disney World property. Pool is still closed. So lightning's still in the area, but there's a better view. It's a much better view actually. It is probably, I think it is the biggest pool. So. It's awesome. This restaurant's called Yachtsman Steakhouse. Uh, it doesn't look like it's open yet. I think they open at five, I wanna guess. Um, but we've eaten here and we'll talk a little bit about it on the other side where I can show you the indoor area. But I mean, I kind of showed you the, the different areas of the pool now and it continues to go on and on and on. And it is currently closed because of weather. And there's our little duckling friends that we saw from over there where the big uh, storm along bay water slide is, which is that big pirate ship over there in the distance. It's got a windmill. It's got it all, like a beach area over there. So we're gonna wander on that side of the pool area for this resort tour. And I've shown you that side because I had clips from Beach Club. So those are the same clips from the last video, but I thought it did a nice job of showing how massive this pool area is. Uh, there are 630 rooms. Epcot Resort area, it did open the same time that Beach Club did. Standard view room at the Yacht Club is $443 to $762, dependent upon the time of year. Gardner Woods view is $484 to $787. Um, and you can see that these rooms look very similar, obviously. They just have different views outside of their windows. They got the double, the queen beds, or they have a king bed option. Um, and then they have TV and the shower and bathroom area. Um, but again, themed to a very nautical experience just as the beach club is, but this one being more boat oriented. So really cool rooms. Um, and again, recently renovated. They also have lagoon or pool view rooms in this uh, same kind of look, and that's gonna be 561 to 851. Again, lagoon, or uh, as they would say, Crescent Lake and pool uh, rooms that have the pool room views. Um, those are gonna be more expensive, 561 to 851. 
And then over at the Yacht Club, they have these club level standard view rooms. So these are the same exact rooms, they're just club level. And again, you get access to their club level lounges and the concierge service at Walt Disney World, which is very convenient. They do a lot of things like booking reservations and different things like that for you. So if you're interested in that upgrade, definitely check that out as Yacht Club has a club level for all of these different uh, views. So they actually range from 661 as the lowest to $1,200 a night just dependent again on the time of year. And then they do have suites that range from $1,863 or, or $1, to uh, $3,000.71. And again, these prices will change uh, inflation and everything else, but also prices and resorts are always gonna change and go up in price. At Walt Disney World, they do typically go up every single year. These are forecasted off of last year, but here's a look at those suites. They are beautiful. Um, they have these turret suites over at the Yacht Club. I couldn't find very many pictures, but I'm gonna place them in here right now because they really do have uh, a unique perspective because they have these turret-like windows and shapes of these rooms where like the living area is going to be more octagonal. I love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, room if you can afford or you wanna splurge on a room like this. You get that uh, main living area along with bedrooms and like a kitchen area. So definitely check out the Yacht Club if that is something that is interesting to you. Again, it's a deluxe resort. But let's get on with the tour and head into the Yacht Club. So there's some wayfinding, Stormalong Bay, the pool area that we just talked about. Arcade in which they share, beach, beaches and cream, beach club, health club. And this is Yachtman Steakhouse. Just inside these doors, here's the menu. And then right next to it is Cruise Cup Lounge, and you can actually get to the lounge from inside Yacht Club. And here's a look at Crew Cup's lounge's menu. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., so the same time Yachtsman is open. The restrooms, water bottle, fill station, water fountain. And then this hallway wraps around to Ale and Compass, which is another yacht club restaurant. But we'll talk about these restaurants a little bit because I've got a lot to say about these two. They're two of my favorites. So once we go around and see what Ale and Compass has, and you can kind of see inside the restaurant here. So it's a good looking restaurant. A lot of dark colors, beautifully themed. Kind of looks like, I mean, it's almost octagonal shape and they have like these same kind of windows that Cape May has that looks around different parts of the interior of the resort, but it's beautifully themed. And again, one of our favorite restaurants. I'm gonna show you the menu and then we're gonna talk about Yachtsman and Ale and Compass because they both need to talk be talked about and are definitely worth dining at. It truly is one of the most beautiful resorts they have here. And again, it's called Ale and Compass. And check for availability. You can scan that code, that QR code. Ale and Compass Buffet, which is their morning, like, sorry, the, their breakfast is buffet for Ale and Compass. Cocktails, Bloody Mary, Mimosa. So these are their breakfast items, entrees. And then these are their dinner items. I think the menu is a little bigger, so you might have to scan the QR code to see more. But I think these are the highlights. If not, they might be all like the starters and the entrees, but they're definitely not all the drinks. 
So I ate here and I ate that seafood pot pie. One of the best seafood pot pies I've ever had. Definitely a different vibe. A lot darker in here than it is in Beach Club. Beach Club is very airy and light. In here it's very dark. Feels like the interior of a boat. A little different knots there. Got some restrooms, but we'll show you the lobby area here in a second. But this is the Alien Compass Lounge and the hours are 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Kind of poke our head in here. They got really good stuff, but it is a cozy little lounge. Oh, they have a TV in here. Oh, we can kind of look at the menu. These uh, menus are very hard to navigate with just one hand. Your flight. Interesting. Classic cocktails. Champagne. Rosé, white wines, red wines. Ooh, dessert. Heck yeah, that's my... Oh, dessert, <laughs> dessert drinks. I was like, wait a minute. And then they have the different bites as well. And non-alcoholic drinks. All right, we won't try to pick up those menus again. That's very difficult. Next time we'll just do an electronic one. <laughs> so, all right, that's the lounge area. Really great seating and very chill. Everybody was kind of leaving though. There's nobody in it. And then this is a look at the lobby and it is very dark in here. I don't hope you can see everything because it's a spectacular lobby, but it is extremely dark. And it's very open con considering what Beach Club looks like. And these two opened at the same time, 1990 in November. So the math on that, 34 years. So not an old resort by any means, but 34 years, had seen its days. There's been a lot of revamps of these deluxe resorts. So both this and Beach Club got renovations, not like recently, but it has been, I think a handful of years since the renovation, but it definitely underwent renovation because this was a little bit more light and airy than it is currently. But I actually like this refurbishment a lot. I actually think I prefer this lobby better than Beach Club's. Now, Beach Club has that unique smell, but I mean, Yacht Club's look and feel, definitely the vibe. Makes me feel fancy. Look at these. I don't think I've ever wandered up here. Let's check it out. Eagle. I wonder if it's Sam Eagle's brother. Oh, look, a steering wheel. It moves too. So you can drive the Yacht Club. All right, where are we going? That's awesome. Be a good photo op if you stand here and somebody takes a picture down there. It's a good bird's eye view of the lobby area though. Really nice seating areas. They're also, they've also got lifeguards in here doing some entertainment for guests because the pool area is closed. Yeah, I love this lobby. Ooh, an even better view. Wow, look how crazy this view is. Look how low the ceilings are, like my head. I'm six foot, I probably have like five inches, four inches until my head hits, hits the ceiling up here. Like somebody that's six, 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 seven, I think you could hit your heads on these, like these low hanging walls. Ah, it's wild. Whoa, look at that. China set. Whoa. So this looks like one of their like, uh, what do they call those? 
one of the bridges of the boats, like where the captain stays. That's what this looks like. Wow. This is awesome. I like this a lot. Very quiet up here too. I feel like I have to whisper. Oh, and that's where the elevators come up. So if you need the elevators, that's where they are. Very cool. Hmm. There's like a seating area over there. There's people over there working, so I'm not gonna go interrupt them, but a seating area kind of overlooks the lobby. Music playing in the background. It's definitely a good vibe up here. I had to back up a little bit. Look at that. It's like a map, like the globe on the ground. I'm sure this is what maps looked like back in the day when they just had rough guesses and outlines of what land was in the way when they were on ships. So we're heading back downstairs. Let's see what we can get into. This is amazing. What the? Oh, you can sit there and watch some cartoons while you wait for your room. What the heck are those? Huh. I don't know what that is. But nice little area for the kids. Oh yeah, they have mailboxes in the lobby. This is one. You just put your letters or mail in there and you can actually get stamps. I think from either the gift shop or the front desk. And you can actually mail things from Walt Disney World. It's like a postcard. Before we head down that hallway back there, we're gonna go down this way because I wanna show you the outside of Yacht Club and then we'll go down to the gift shop. So let's head out. Front doors. Get a shot of the front of the resort. They've got hand towels, just like they do over at Beach Club and Boardwalk. A lot of the deluxe rest, or, uh, resorts will have this, so you can dry off before you head into the resort, so you don't slip. There's the caravanning around the world. So the characters are in that usually. I don't, I don't know where they're meeting. I have no idea. So they might be in that. I don't. I have no idea. But they weren't at Beach Club, so, and they're usually in the lobby. They usually don't take them around the resort, so I don't really know. Maybe because of the storms and because there's a lot of people in the lobby, they didn't want the characters in there. Uh, but yeah, anytime you see that bus, it usually means the characters are here. This is just some fun theming parts of the resort. So you got the American flag, and then you also have the boating flags and like the, I think they're called boating flags. What are they called? Nautical flags? They tell you different things on the boat. I don't know what, I'm not even gonna try to guess, but I think it's a fun little, uh, theming aspect here at the Yacht Club. Oh man, I've never seen the Yacht Club's bus stop. That's kind of mean, not gonna lie, because Beach Club has a covered, like you gotta walk all the way from there to there uncovered. I mean, it's just like the moderate and value resorts, but that being said, you would think they have Beach Clubs covered. Poor Yacht Club guests, they're gonna get soaked into the water or the water station, the bus stop. But here's the front of Yacht Club. It's pretty. It's not as busy as Beach Club. And, and you'll notice that when you do book it, it's not hard to get a reservation here. It's a lot harder over at Beach Club. But I, th you know what? I, I don't know why either. Like it shares everything with Beach Club. So I don't understand maybe because it's, you know, got more options as far as room choices. And I know DVC Beach Club is where they'll go, but I don't know. I'm interested. Why? So if you're in the comments below and you like both of these resorts, why are you choosing Beach Club over Yacht Club? Like, I find that interesting. Like, what, what's the deal? Why is Yacht Club shunned? Is it because of conventions? Is it because it's, it's booked mostly for conventions? I don't understand. Okay. And then wandering out here, it's very similar to Beach Club. It's got like the bridge where you come over the bridge if you're coming in by car. Or I guess bus, a grand entrance as you drive up to your Disney vacation. Love these bridges. I think that every Walt Disney World resort has some kind of entrance like this, except for the values. So I dig it. And then that's the convention center, the business center. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I guess we can try to go in, but there was security out there earlier. And I don't know, it's just an empty building. It's like a convention center that's empty. Um, a lot of times it's locked. 
So I'll probably just leave it alone for this video. I'll link another video where we went into the business center, but essentially all it is is big ballrooms that are empty. Um, and if there's a convention going on, I don't want to go inside of it. So yeah, so they do have conventions here. I don't know how regularly that they're here, but I will say it's quite often because I've seen a lot of them coming over to Epcot from the convention centers here. And then also Swan and Dolphin have a uh, convention center type building as well. So it's not just this one that's being used, but I know Yacht Club is often host to a lot of like medical conventions, entertainment conventions, business conventions. Like I know a lot of companies buy out the convention center for like retreats and different things like that. So, and those are gonna be way different prices, like uh, group sales and stuff like that. You're gonna have to contact Disney World, like the reservation center and ask for group pricing because I'm sure they have them. I just don't know them, but yeah. All right, so there, there's a character attendant getting out of the vehicle right now. But again, I, I have not seen the characters outside that's back towards back area towards Storm Along Bay, but we're gonna go just to the right-hand side where we were, where those TVs, or sorry, where the TV was, where kids can watch the cartoons. Over here are the elevators as well, so I can show you those. But we'll also go down to their gift shop. So restrooms and elevators, just off the lobby right here. Oh, there's their map. We can, I don't think it's any different. Yeah, it's not any different, but I didn't do it for this video. Cape May Cafe, dinner and breakfast, beaches and cream, 11 to 11. Beach Club Marketplace, which is over in Beach Club. Martha's Vineyard, which is on the way over from Beach Club to Yacht Club. But I think technically Beach Club side. Ale and Compass, that starts yachts. Hurricane Hannah's, that's the pool bar over at Storm Along, and they share a pool crew cup that's over on the yacht side. Yachtsman Steakhouse. Oh yeah, we still have to talk about Yachtsman and Ale and Compass. Oh, the market at Ale and Compass. So that's where we're headed. The gift shop no. and the Alien, Alien Compass house or no, house lounge 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. All right, the market at Alien Compass is down this way. There's the exit to it, but it's around this corner over here. Looks very similar to Beach Club, it's just not as big as Beach Club's. But we'll show you what it's all about. Do some window shopping. And then they have their quick service restaurant in here as well. And then each of the resorts are going to have their own resort specific merchandise. And we'll go in and check it out. Ooh, I really like their ornaments. I love that, or like that little boat, the sailboat with Mickey and Minnie on it. Okay, let's go in. There, Tervis? Yeah, probably that. I'll like finish your book. And then I believe they're <laughs> their coffee mug. That's fun. I like that, it's different. You don't see coffee mugs like this. Kind of looks like a beer stein. Magnet. I don't think they had a beach club magnet. I find that odd. Huh. I don't know. I feel like it's weird. I feel like they all have magnets. I don't know why the last two we've done, I don't think had magnets. And then the Yacht Club Resort shirt with the logo on it, that blue nautical color, like sea color. Dark light, lighthouse, bleh, dark lighthouse logoed shirt. I'm pretty sure it probably says Yacht Club on it. We'll check it out in a minute. Here's their stainless steel water bottle. It is corksicle as well. And then their lounge fly. My cord got stuck around their lounge fly. I love these little lifesavers on the ears. And then the Yacht Club logo with the little sequence bow and the lounge fly. I wanted to see if this said Yacht Club on it because I find it, yeah, up on the neckline up there, like the tag. 
very nice. It's like a, almost like a long sleeve slash, I want to say almost like a sweatshirt. Very interesting. I don't know how to explain that. Cashmere? And then back here, right behind that center display, they're going to have their ornaments, Christmas ornaments. So it's got Mickey and Minnie. And then like on the sale itself, it's got Disney's Yacht Club. And then they've got like the Yacht Club resort ornament that I think all of the resorts now have. So if you flip them, so this is what the front looks like. And then if you flip them, they've got like Mickey or whoever they theme the resort. I think it's usually Mickey and Minnie, but they're like themed. Their outfits are themed after the resort of the ornament that they're in. They also have a bathrobe. Again, feels like the bedding, like a real nice soft bedding and linen. It's very soft on the inside. Bathrobe, 100 bucks, but I think worth it. They have also a vineyard vine pullover, three quarter zip. And then their shirt it says Yacht Club, it's red, like a heathered shirt. All right, what else? I think that's it on this side. Ooh, they sell Ray-Bans here. I guess that makes sense. Ray-Bans are gonna be a little bit more expensive, obviously. And then they have this shirt here. It's kind of like that captain striped white and blue. That's nice. And then the Yacht and Beach Resort beach towel, which looks like their ornament, to be honest with you. Like it's got Mickey and Minnie, and then it's got them on the sailboat. Yeah, that's a nice beach towel. The center display back behind it was where that other yacht club specific merchandise was. We're gonna take a right, go see some of the other merchandise before we go into like their general store area. But again, more park, general, like generic park merchandise at the resorts. So you probably will have seen this stuff at the parks. They don't usually do a whole, whole lot of different things except for like Tommy Bahama, which you can see there's Tommy Bahama print I love it. this way. But yeah, pretty generic as far as uh, resort gift shops. Board games, toys, plushies, bath toys. And again, a lot of this stuff can be found inside the parks. I think all of this stuff can be found inside the parks. So if you go to one of the big stores at the front of the parks, you can usually find all the merch that they have here, but just in case you forget, or you want to grab something on the way out, or when you get back to your resort, or this less of a line, you get some coffee mugs, water bottles. And then some beachwear. So it makes sense. Got to have some beach. There's more beachwear here than there was a beach club. I'm so confused. They got liquor. As well. Oh, look, Silver Patron. I don't think they had that over there. Hmm. So you can buy liquor. But yeah, they've got tons more beach things over here, like beach themed items and randomly Spider Man's hat. Floaties, bathing suits, swim shirts, button down shirts, Hawaiian shirts, tank tops, sun hats. Love that. That's cool sunglasses lots of sunglasses so if you don't want ray-ban the more expensive and again they do have the prescription readers up there i find that fascinating i don't think they've ever had those before sunscreen flip-flops crocs baby sunscreen kids sunscreen kids ears regular headbands yeah some good stuff here like at beach club you can get medication anything that you might forget toiletries toothbrushes toothpaste dental floss pads tampons pedialyte razors shaving screen shaving cream uh, insect repellent hauls cough drops contact solution you got kids advil benadryl tylenol uh balmax uh diaper rash emodium Little swimmers and huggies, Advil ointment, alcohol pads, pacifiers or binkies as some call them, blister X, clear eyes, tweezers, nail file, 
nail clippers, a comb, hair ties, sewing kits, eyewear repair kit, charger, wall plugs, because a lot of people coming from the UK and stuff will have different wall plugs than we will, so that'll be something that they'll buy, which this is very difficult to find unless you ask a cast member, so here you go. That's where you can find it. And dinner offerings, and here's a look at what that menu includes. And then starts the general store portion of our vlog that we do every time that has the exact same things, but in different layouts. And then sometimes they have different like baked goods, which they kind of have here. Ooh, plant-based brownie. Hmm. I didn't know that was a thing. Mickey brownie, mints, chips, pretzels, trail mix, gummies, snacks, sour mini belts, fruit. You can actually use the dining plan snack credits on these. Just a fun fact, cereal, which I think you get milk with those included. I don't know. I read that somewhere. Some pastries. That looks really good. Look at that sticky pecan bun. Yummy. Chocolate chip muffin. Chocolate chip cookie. And then they also have a pride moose dome, which I believe was in the fridge on the other part or the other resort. I'll have to look for it. I think it's behind me. Neutral green bars. Pop tarts, Snickers, Skittles, and m ms Oh, what the heck? Those are different. Soft cookies. All right, had to switch over to the phone. All three of my camera batteries died. I need to buy some more camera batteries. I need at least five when I do some of these longer days, but you get your chips. Taffy, ooh, saltwater taffy. Look at that. Rice Krispies. Mints. And then they have like a, your pickup area for the market where you get all those hot drink, or sorry, hot food items, lunch and dinner. And then they also have different drinks. I think they do, yeah, they do like espressos and coffees back here as well. So if you're staying at one of the resorts and you want some coffee, you can go down to your quick service and they'll usually have some sort of counter where you can order coffees and espressos. This is different though. They have seating areas back here I mean, I guess because Beach Club has like that outdoor area in the solarium, they don't really need seating inside of their quick service, but this is inside their quick service and gift shop. So places to sit, like sit. Oh, and they got outlets by the seats. What a brilliant idea. A lot of people charging up. Maybe you're hanging out here before your flight or, you know, bus to your flight or you're eating in the morning and want to charge all your items before you go to the parks. It's a good little spot. Do have wines back here as well. Wine and rosé. Here's a list of what they've got. And then they have sodas, juices, milks, gallons, pints, not gallons, just pints, quarts, little individual milks, chocolate milks, soda lemonade, Powerade, body armor, liquor, whiskey, high noon, Schaffenhofer, Bud Light, Corona, Blue Moon, Stella, cool, or uh, sorry, chilled wine, fruit cups, parfaits, chocolate caramel, cheesecake, the Pride Dome is way back there in the back. Uh, fruits, veggies, pre-made sandwiches for kids down here and behind the fog and not the Halloween Horror Nights fog. Uh, dressing, salads, chicken salads, chicken and ranch, pre-made adult sandwiches, baby bell, cheeses, hard-boiled eggs, veggies. So all of your refrigerated items that you typically have at the resorts. We're gonna kind of wander this way. I don't think there's anything out this way besides tennis courts. But I don't know, I guess we'll check it out, see what's going on. And then we're gonna wander out 
Yeah, there's a pool out this way. One of the leisure pools out here. I never get to all or all around the resort. This is the first time on Beach Club and Yacht Club that I've gotten around to all of them. Yeah, those kids are playing pickleball. They do have the pickleball lines out there. So there's pickleball regulated size courts. And you can also do tennis. And typically you can get those at the front desk or a lot of times at what's called a like a recreation hall or a community hall. I don't know if there's one here at this pool. They're typically at the leisure pools for some reason. But I think if you go to the front desk and ask them, they'll have access to that kind of stuff. Or if you see anybody dressed in yellow, they're rec or like a recreational cast member, like yellow polos, they can typically give you pickleball stuff and tennis. Leisure pool, nobody in it. I don't know if the pools are still closed because there's no lifeguards here and they don't really they don't really keep an eye on these pools. I mean, they do, but like very seldom do you see cast members out here. So just know that there's not gonna be lifeguards or anybody to help you out if you're out here and stranded. But they do have uh, washing machines usually in those buildings by the leisure pools. So if you're looking for washer or dryer, head to one of the leisure pools. It's one of the first pools I've been able to film because there's nobody in it. Today's been great. I've been able to film the pools. But yeah, this is the uh, backside area. So this is, I imagine, what's called the pool views, obviously. So a little bit more expensive than like standard room and garden view. But, all right. We're gonna wander down here and see if we can get out this way. I think we can, because we're gonna head around the backside of the Yacht Club and show you a little bit of Storm Along, some of the recreation activities, talk a little bit about them, and then I think we're going to head out. Like I said, Yacht Club is one of the dog-friendly resorts, and this is the dog relieving station. So poop bags and where you can dispose of dog waste. And this is on the very opposite side of Beach Club. So if you got doggies, there's one. I'm sure there's other ones around. I don't think we can get around that way. And that looks like a street. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go back. Oh well. All right, we're gonna head back and go towards the backside of Yacht Club. So right when you go out the backside of the Yacht Club, out of the Yacht Club lobby area, there's really nice seating. We got some rocking chairs over there. That look on to Stormalong. It looks like Stormalong Bay is open. The pools are open again. So everybody's outside enjoying the pool. It's still daylight out. It's summer, it stays light until about 8, 8.30. It's pretty late. But yeah, look at this area. It's a good little area. Nice place to sit out and relax when it's not too hot. Beautiful resort. Lots to take in. Okay, left-hand side, that's the end of the pool finally. You can see Beach Club off in the distance and Storm Along Bay, which is the swimming pool. It's open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., I believe. I have to check the closing time. I can't quite remember the closing. I remember the opening, but we'll check it out. And then these right here are called the turret suites. So that's actually like those rooms inside of that, like uh, octagon, well, I guess it's hexagonal, octagonal shaped building. It's actually a suite. And uh, it's one of those suites I showed you before. It's called the turret suites. They're beautiful and you can actually see like a a sailboat way up in the top of that first or that third window. Straight ahead, you can go down that dock out into the water and catch the friendship boats. One will take you to Disney's Hollywood Studios over to the boardwalk, uh, over to Swan and Dolphin, I believe, uh, as well as uh, there are some that I think, I wanna say they definitely go to Epcot, or uh, yeah, one goes to Epcot, so. It's not that long of a walk, but if you don't feel like walking, the boat on the left-hand side will go to Epcot. The boat right here will go to Disney's Hollywood Studios out that way and to Boardwalk. I think it stops along the way at Boardwalk and Swan and Dolphin before it hits studios. So just make sure you're aware of that if you're planning on using the Friendship boats. And then out here, you'll actually see some of these pontoon boats. Some of them are for fireworks cruises, which they still do. And then you can also rent a boat, I think, just to kind of take out onto the water and explore. And then you also can book a fishing excursion at the Yacht Club. So we'll go look at the prices because over there's the Bayside Marina and I think it's gonna have some uh, prices listed. But the fishing excursions are typically a guided tour. And then 
you can, I think, self-rent. And I mean, honestly, I think they trust you with their life because I think you'll have to take the boat out with any kind of training. So <laughs> good luck to anybody out there on the water. Yacht club, no slouch. Look at that. Wow. Looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah. So back that way is Beach Club. You can actually see the slide for Storm Along, which is the big slide for the big pool over there. Friendship boat dock out that way. And then Bayside Marina is going to be that little building right there where you can do fishing excursions, take out your own boat, see the firework cruises. Oh, look. Presented by TakeMeFishing.org. So you can visit that website and learn more but i'm going to take you over here and you can learn more based off this sign so open daily from 11 a.m to 5 p.m so they're still open so i like i go in there but you can rent out boats you can go on a fireworks cruise as well so there you go fireworks cruise starting at 4:49 includes a driver and 10 maximum guests so the best way to do that i would think is split it 10 ways or as many ways as possible Guided bass fishing tour, starting at 2.35, two hour trip. Four hour trip is 455, five guests maximum. And then rental Sun Tracker pontoon boats, $49 for 30 minutes. Must be 18 years old. And you can call those numbers to book. And those are the pontoon boats you take. And we did a fireworks cruise at the Magic Kingdom over at the Grand. Easily one of the coolest things I've ever done at Walt Disney World. Ashley's friends. Katrina and her parents took us out. It was very nice of them and a lot of fun. Well, look, you can see what kind of boats are, or uh, what kind of fishies are out here. Look at that. So that's the kind of fish you'll see in Crescent Lake. And then you can see Boardwalk out over there. I think these are the fishing boats right here. I think they're a little bit different. One of them's the fishing boats, one of them fireworks boats, but I don't know which one that is which. I think these are the fishing. Yeah, these are fishing because it has the takemefishing.org websites on there. Like a little sun shield from the in front of the steering wheel. But yeah, man, this I mean this resort just keeps going and going. Oh, you can cut through right there. So that little courtyard that we said, oh, look, there's a bench out there. What are you doing, Beach Club? You can actually cut through right here. There's like a little alcove over there that you can cut through and get inside the resort. We'll just kind of wrap around here, show you how expansive this is and how much it backs up the Swan and Dolphin, which are the Marriott hotels over here. There we go. I think that's it. We'll stop here because there's not much else to see besides the front of this building. But over there starts Swan and Dolphin and you can get over to the boardwalk by going over that bridge. As far as dining experience, uh, Ale and Compass and Yachtsman Steakhouse are two of the best restaurants we've ever eaten at, at Disney property. Um, Yachtsman had a great waiter. We had one of the best waiters that we've ever had. And then Ale and Compass, the food there, the comfort food, it was cold. I had that seafood pie. It was just one of the best meals that I think I've ever experienced and one of the better atmospheres because that restaurant is so beautiful. Overall, I love the Yacht Club. I think a lot of people will stay at the beach club. It's a little bit more crowded than yacht, but it's just as good. I really enjoy it. So if you're heading to Walt Disney World, stay at one of the three Epcot resorts. I think they're fantastic. They've got the, the Skyliner, they've got buses, boats, as far as transportation. It's so easy to get to all the parks when you stay at one of the Disney resorts. So it doesn't really matter which one, but this one, as far as convenience, I mean, it's a five minute walk from beach club to the Skyliner, 10 minute walk from yacht club to the Skyliner, boardwalk, probably 10 minute walk. So I don't know. I, I love these three resorts so much. And then you have Swan and Dolphin, which also offer world-class food and entertainment options. So definitely check that out. But that'll do it for us for this video for Yacht Club. Thanks for watching this resort tour. On to the next one, I guess we'll go. I don't know which one that'll be, but thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video and hope to see you guys at the parks.